you ever sit on your desk and for the life of you, you just can't get your mind to focus and get work done, and you're probably thinking, what can I do to get focused? Or what can I do to get into a focused state? You're in the wrong mindset. Because focus is not about what you do. Focus is about doing less dumb shit. Now, most people don't talk about this. What most people talk about is they talk about what you should do to access focus. Like how to improve your productivity. Here are some productivity hacks. The 90 minute rule, the notion system, get things done, Pomodoro, all these things, they say it will improve your focus. But what they fail to understand is focus isn't about what you do, focus is about what you don't do. You access focus by avoiding doing dumb shit. Now, we probably ask what is dumb shit? But first, before we get into what that means, we need to understand what focus is actually is. You focus by channeling all of your energy into one direction. Just like how you have light go through a magnifying glass and that creates a focused beam, that's how you want to treat your energy and time. You want to put all of your energy into one focal point so you can get more results from that. And when you do that, focus, that's the power of focus. That's the leverage of focus, is you being able to direct your energy into one thing and then getting the results that you want out of it. Now what we need to understand here, here is the opposite of focus is when you're not doing that, is when your energy is not going to one focal point and it's diverted to multiple directions. Like that is by definition distractions. You're not focusing on one thing, you're not channeling energy on one thing, you're looking all over the place. That is doing dumb shit. When you do dumb shit, you don't focus. Now, dumb shit is when you start doing things that's not the main thing. Okay, let's say you want to build a business. That's your main thing. That's your main goal right now. You not working on your business is doing dumb shit. Scrolling your phone is doing dumb shit. Doing anything that is directing you away, your time, attention, energy over the thing that matters most to you is doing dumb shit. And it comes in two forms. Okay, dumb shit could approach in our lives in the micro scale of time things. Let's say on a daily basis, it's the obvious time wasters. This is dumb shit that happens every day. This is the things that happen in daily basis that tend to divert our attention from the things you need to do. Instead of being productive and working on your business, you're possibly going on YouTube and watching a few YouTube videos and wasting tons of time. You might have notifications on and you might be scrolling on Instagram for a few hours a day, or you might just be endlessly doom scrolling on your phone and having an insane screen time like so, like 14 hours plus. That is dumb shit that happens on a daily basis and this is on the micro scale of things because it happens very frequently now on the what happens is when you do this is instead of having your energy and diverting it all into business this is all of your energy source and you're channeling that all into business what happens is your energy is being sapped towards multiple directions doing dumb shit so Scrolling, Netflix, drinking, you're stressed and burnt out, you check notifications, you might be cleaning the house here and there, cooking, grocery shopping, brain fog, drinking. All of these things are sapping your time and attention away from the thing that matters most, which could be your business. Instead of putting most of your energy into your business, your energy is diverted to distractions and time wasters. When you remove the dumb shit, trust me, you regain a lot of time and energy you could invest into your business. Now, in the micro scale of things, this is how it looks like from a day to day. If you remove the micro uh, distractions, the micro dumb shit, on a macro, on a daily basis, you do regain your focus. Now, let's talk about on a macro, which is the second thing. So, macro dumb shit. So, macro dumb shit is, let's say you already conquered the micro, you already know how to focus on the one thing. Macro is when you uh, divert from the main thing in like a macro sense of things, in a longer time frame. So, this is the shiny object. So I like this, this uh, joke over here. So we need to stay focused on our marketing priorities and not get distracted by every shiny new. Look, a squirrel. So instead of focusing on their business or focusing on something that is um, shiny but does, it's, it's not the main focus. So shiny objects are the op opportunities that distract you from the main thing. It's where you neglect your main thing to start a new opportunity. It takes you away from what you've built to start something new from scratch because the grass looks greener. Now, this is a big problem, and a lot of people struggle with this. And in business, it occurs this way. When you have a business, you achieve macro focus by reducing things to one. Because you focus on one thing, you achieve macro focus. Rather than having two things, one thing allows you to focus, put your energy into one project or one type of business. Macro, micro is more like uh, saying no to distractions, making sure you get to work. 
or doing the productivity, doing the priorities in your business to move it forward. Now, when you have a business to achieve macro focus or to stop doing dumb shit, you want to reduce things to one. So one offer, one product, one funnel, one channel. What this happens is when you focus on one, this allows you to reiterate and allow your work to stack up onto each other day by day. Because let's say you work on one offer, you created the offer one time, every time you um, get back to your offer, you improve that offer. Or let's say you build a product. Because you're working on one type of product, you're able to iterate and improve that product. If you look at Apple, Apple had an iPhone, they've been working on iPhones for the past, I don't know, like 20 years or 15 years, 15 to 20 years. And it's the same iPhone. They just reiterated and made it better each year. And that's why they make really good phones because they focus on one specific product and then iterated that until it got exceptionally good. That's how you want to succeed in business. You succeed in business by focusing on one thing, getting really good at one thing, and then iterate, uh, iterating, improving it every single day till it improves. Now, what happens when you do dumb shit is when you lose focus and you stop doing the one thing that you're good at. But then you switch targets or you, you, you change things and you miss out on significant progress results you could have made if you never deviated. Imagine if Apple stopped doing iPhone and they st started focusing on like cam cameras. It would be a completely different. So you want to make sure you focus on one thing so it could stacks up over time. So what happens when you do dumb shit? First, on a micro level focus, I'm going to use this analogy. So let's say you're not focused and a rectangle is a, represent a representation of your day. Because you're doing dumb shit, you didn't really uh, move your business forward. This is, this is an empty day with nothing uh, produced. You did not produce any work. You did not move your business forward. You got nothing done. So it's an empty uh, rectangle. Let's say you're able to focus. You put in a lot of energy business. You made a lot of headway. You made progress. You can fill up the day as in uh, green. The rectangle represents a day, and it's filled in green. That means you got a day of focus. You got productive work done. Now, how this would look like is when you focus, each day stacks up. So day one, you got work done. Day two, day one work also stacks up to day two's work. So it builds. Day three's work stacks up from day one and day two. So everything stacks up. This is called building. When you focus, you build something. This is why you want to make sure you could conquer the micro level of focus, say no to the bullshit stuff, the dumb shit, and being able uh, to do the things to move your business. Focus, it really allows you to stack up and build things in your life. Now, if you do it right, you can progress your business really fast. Like being able to focus every single day stacks up very quickly and you're able to build up. So it adds up over time. This is only possible if you focus on one thing at, at a time. If you focus on one, one product, one, one service, you continuously improve that. So the work that you did yesterday adds up to the work that you did today. And getting fast results is all about building more focus days and staying focused. Where it becomes a problem is when you start to do dumb shit every day. And this is how it looks like when you do dumb shit. Instead of experiencing faster progress and building up momentum, you're slower with things. Let's say you're focused one day, day one you're focused, day two you're focused, day three you're not focused, you got nothing done. Okay? Day four you're not focused, you got nothing done. You come back on day five. Two, day one and day two do add up, but then now you're missing the potential of getting four days of work done or five days of work done. Actually, this is wrong. There should be one here. Or five days worth of work done you could have had if you stayed focused. So you missed two days of valuable work that could be stacked up and build up on each other. Now, not every day you're going to be able to stay focused. Some days you might be sick or you might not be uh, in the zone, but you're losing out a lot of potential progress over here by losing the focus and accepting dumb shit in your life and accepting the distractions and just not staying focused. This is a key problem that a lot of people struggle with. So focus is where you want to look at and stop doing dumb shit is the first place to do that. Okay, so let's say on a macro scale, uh, when you decide to divert away from your primary focus, which is your one product or, or one service, and you decide to take on a new opportunity, what happens is you have to build a completely new iteration loop. You divert your attention from the main thing where if you stuck to it, you'd get more results. So just like uh, earlier how because you're very consistent with stacking things up you get to a point where you start getting results but because you diverted your attention you start from scratch 
So you don't actually experience the results that you actually wanted in the first place. So everything works as long as you focus on it. So here's where you want to make sure that you maintain macro focus because by now, let's say by the third day, you'd already be at where you wanted to be in terms of getting results and progress in your business. So that's why focus is about doing as little dumb shit as possible and channeling your energy into the one thing every single day. If you do it right, this is what you're going to experience. You can get a lot of progress very quickly. You're able to build up your business uh, further, faster, and sooner. And you'll be able to get the things you want in your life. Now, if you found this helpful, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video and share this with someone who needs to see this.